is a wonderful consistent horse shouldn't be anywhere near good enough uh, to do more than say finish fourth or fifth but uh, he, he too yes he is in all's well he's in uh, and he was beaten by Jester on this course early in the season uh, but then won a very well deserved victory at Thursk and was only just beaten by Sayaf also at Thursk. That's number one, Croft Hall. Sweet Monday going towards the stalls. Vaguely star in the middle there. That's Chelliston Park in the background. And the Irish Royal Hobbit uh, in the blinkers there. Ridden by Joanna Morgan, the only lady, needless to say, in the race. And just about the only lady riding uh, in high class races in Europe. Joanna, Welsh-born, a very, very good jockey, but uh, Royal Hobbit has come twice to England this season, didn't do any good either time, although he has won two races in Ireland. Shouldn't be good enough. Uh, that's fairly loud with his back to us, but let's have another look at the betting. Sharpo goes back to odds on, now the 11 to 10 on favourite, Tina's Pet 11 to 2, Fearless Lad 6 to 1, Vaguely Star at 7s, Chosen Park 14 to 1, Sweet Monday at 20s, Cross Hall 25s, Golden Green, Kind Music and Lucky Hunter all 33 to 1 and Royal Hobbit 50 to 1, all 11 show. Uh, we haven't seen Golden Green but uh, he's the only one we haven't seen. Fearless Lad is one of the last few in, so over to you for a really thrilling sprint championship. Graham Good. Yes, and a deep breath needed here for this five furlong trip. They're under orders and they're away. Very, very smartly away with Tina's pet. Leicester Piggott has that one immediately into the lead as they come to the first furlong. From just in behind him, uh, Croft Hall. And uh, also there is Sharper just in behind the leaders. The French way to climb music to the right of the picture. On the extreme right is Vaguely Star. And they come down to the halfway stage. And it's Tina's pet from on the left of the picture now, Royal Hobbit. That's the one with blinkers. In between these two is Croft Hall. The French way to climb music to his right. Making up ground is Sweet Monday. Just in behind the leaders, Sharper, Chelliston Park. On the very wide outside is Vaguely Star. They've just got two furlongs left to go. Tina's pet and Kind Music. Then Royal Hobbit and Croft Hall. Then Sharpo beginning a run to the left of the picture with a white face. It's Fearless Dad. Just over a furlong to go. And it's Tina's pet with Sharpo now finishing strongest of all. Sharpo quickening his stride coming inside the final furlong. Sharpo drawing right away from Shelliston Park and Kind Music to Tina's pet. Sharpo in the lead from Shelliston Park. Kind Music to Tina's pet. At the line. Sharpo easing down. From a photograph in second place, Kind Music to Shelliston Park. Then Tina said he didn't get a very, very clear run, but that was, I'd say, say, off the post. And then Lucky Hunter. Then came Sweet Monday and behind Sweet Monday, Fearless Lad, then Royal Hobbit. Then Vaguely Star and Croft Hall and trailing was Golden Green. And so the result of this, the William Hill Sprint Championship, is a historic third victory for number three, Sharpo. And in partnership by Miss uh, Monica Sheriff and Mr. F.A.R. Packard, trained at Marlborough by Jeremy Tree and ridden by Steve Cawthon. Second was number 11, Chelliston Park, ridden by Jeff Baxter. Third was number 10, Kind Music, ridden by Freddie Head. Well, this was one of those most exciting races. With a furlong and a half to go, there were about four or five in line. But Sharpo came with that devastating last run, really wore down the opposition, and in fact, one easing up in the end. A uh, surprise ride for Steve Cawthon, uh, but in fact, I've just been told that officially it's a photograph for second place. So preempting the Chelliston Park is second and Kyle Music third. It was a, a, a spare ride for Steve Cawthon. Fat Henry sitting at home had to sit and suffer. I'm sure that he never had any doubts at all that Steve was going to prevail. I'm sure Steve didn't. Let's see those closing stages with John Oaksey. And what a marvellous sight this is. At the moment, Sharpo is not in your picture. Croft Hall's almost in front of the Irish horse with, no, Tina's pet probably just in front with the French trained horse over on the far side. But there's Steve Corton, and this was the only moment I had any doubt because if they had closed up in front of him, well, no, Sharpo's got the gap now, and that's all he needs. Uh, they're in line on his left, but Sharpo's got another gear. Here he goes, the champion for the third time running. Tina's pet's run out of steam. Chelliston Park struggles on really gamely, but Steve Corton has the extra. He produces it, and Sharpo comes home as a champion should. You'll see him prick his ears in a moment in triumph for his third William Hill Sprint Championship. Second is Chelliston Park as we see it. Tina's pet then behind her third, and the, oh, maybe, maybe the French horse Kind Music is third. Um, despite Freddie Head's one pound overweight. Lucky Hunter's run well behind them, as did Fearless Lad. But there's the champion, Miss Monica Sheriff Sharpo. What a lovely horse.
and completing an historic third consecutive victory in this race, having won in 1980 and last year, 1981. Of course, Pat Hedery rode him on those occasions, and Pat suffering from the fall here on Tuesday.